The Arabic singular form dar dar, translated literally, may mean house, abode, structure, place, land, or country. In Islamic jurisprudence it often refers to a part of the world. The notions of houses or divisions of the world in Islam such as Dar al-Islam and Dar al harbas not appear in the Quran or the Hadith. According to Abu al-Fadl, the only Dar the Quran speaks of are the abode of the hereafter and the abode of the earthly life, with the former described as clearly superior to the latter. In classical Islamic law, the major division or Dar al-Islam lit. Territory of Islam, denoting regions where Islamic law prevails, Dar al sul lit. Territory of treaty denoting non-Islamic lands which have concluded an armistice with a Muslim government. And Dar al harb lit. Territory of war, denoting adjoining non-Islamic lands whose rulers are called upon to accept Islam. Early Islamic jurists devised these terms to denote legal rulings for ongoing Muslim conquests. Almost a century after Muhammad, the first use of the terms was in Iraq by Abu Hanifa and his disciples Abu Yusuf and al-Shaibani. Among those in the Levant, al was leading in this discipline and later Shafi'i. The concept of Dar al-Harb has been affected by the political fragmentation of the Muslim world and has little significance today. Subscribe our channel for more such informative short video.